Hi everyone, my name is Arthur Maiman and I'm the Director of Innovation here at the Bowles School. We're standing in the lobby of the Sanchez Fender Center for Innovation. This space is absolutely amazing. Uh, we've had an incredible month or two of getting into the school year and using this building. This building has just been transformative for our students, for our faculty, and for everyone here. This, this building houses our science department, our math department, our new department of innovation, our photography classes. The hope is that we can use this facility to merge all of those disciplines and have them work together and collaborate with one another and create a brand new way of teaching students and a much more engaging and exciting experience for our students. We're excited to spend some time coordinating our innovation program across pre-K right through 12th grade. The hope is that we can scaffold from year to year and provide students with really engaging, interesting courses in coding, in AI, machine learning, financial innovation, innovation across the board. And so it's a new exciting opportunity for students to come in and learn a little bit about how to see and work with technology in a different way. I've been incredibly impressed at the enthusiasm of our faculty to work closely together, to move into this space, to make the most out of this space for their students and for themselves. I look forward to working closely with faculty in the math, science, and arts, and really across our entire campus. Everyone's incredibly excited about our space, wants to get involved, wants to participate, and I'm really looking forward to working with all of them. Hello, uh, my name is Nick D'Angelo, or Nicholas. Um, I am the fabrication specialist here at the Bowl School, and around me you can see we're still in the middle of setting that up. Uh, but this eventually will be a fabrication center for all the students and faculty to come use. My role has mainly been coordinating a lot of the equipment in terms of safety precautions, how we're going to get students used to it, how we're going to get them trained on it. Um, I'm also working with a good amount of teachers to get them up to speed on how to use the equipment, how to incorporate that into their lessons. Uh, but right now we're supporting the CAD class, the robotics class, and the engineering class. Uh, and we are expecting them to be some of the first students to use this space. But there's plenty of after school activities as well, um, mainly the astronomy club and the robotics team that are going to be using this space. Um, sooner rather than later. So right now my role has been working with a lot of those um, faculty and students so that they are prepared to use it once we are fully um, functional. Most of our capacity right now is 3D printing. Uh, we expect that to change in the coming weeks. Uh, the next system we're planning on implementing is laser cutting. Uh, but for now, most of the students have been able to learn CAD modeling, which is a type of 3D modeling that's going to be used by every piece of equipment in here. Um, and then uh, be able to 3D print projects for their classes. We will also have the ability to mill and router metal and wood. Um, so uh, on this side of the room, we're mainly going to be keeping it to metal work, and that will be uh, our Haas taper mill, which is a five-axis CNC mill, uh, and that will cut a variety of metals like aluminum or steel. And behind me is the shop saver that is our CNC router so that will be mainly used for wood or composite materials but that is essentially a table that is a three-axis router uh, that is going to cut out different uh, materials or sheets of wood or plastic. I think it is a huge impact to how the classroom can operate. Uh, not only can you start to do more labs but you can bring exercises and examples to students that they would never have been able to previously have. You can hand out physical examples for, say, an anatomy class that you 3D printed for cross-sections of organs or cross-sections of species that are just not available to them otherwise except in a textbook. Um, so it really adds that third dimension to it. Um, not only that, but it does give them a very high ceiling on what they can create for projects, uh, whether that be for a club or for a class. Uh, if they learn how to fabricate, um, and we're hoping everyone will learn how to fabricate here, uh, they should be able to make whatever they can think of or whatever they can model. So whether that's for a project, whether that's personal, whether that's for um, a competition that they want to enter into, we're planning on supporting all of those things. Um, 
and that will drastically impact them down the line. So that is great to see on a college application, especially if you want to go into something like engineering. Um, but it's great for other parts of the school as well. If you're in the arts or if you're in English or in any kind of humanities course, it is still a really um, unique project that will stand out on a portfolio or will stand out on a resume or a diploma. By creating this space, you're giving students an experience very early on that they would have to wait a good amount of time for if they ever had access to it. So most of these kind of spaces are in universities right now, but by giving them access to it beforehand, they can take full advantage of it when they're in a university. So they can be caught up to speed, they can get training on all this equipment now, so that when they're in university, they're not wasting more time trying to learn it. It also is great if they're applying to those schools because they know that their students already know how to utilize their resources. Hello, my name is Gloria Wood. I'm the instructional designer for the upper school. I also teach robotics, advanced robotics, CAD, video production, and kinetic sculpture. If I would um, be describing the CFI building uh, in one word, it would be transformative. The new space has transformed robotics lessons in so many ways. Um, it's promoting collaboration, creativity, hands-on learning, um, the flexible workspaces, um, the advanced tools that we're using now, like 3D printers, laser cutters, and open layout. Students can engage more in complex uh, projects that we have in the classroom. The environment supports project-based learning, which is the kind of learning that we're doing in this class. And it allows for ex experimentation and innovation more than anything. Some of the materials that we're using are the 3D printers. We're using Rev Robotics. We're using laser cutters. We're excited about having more 3D printers that can print metal, um, carbon fiber, all kinds of things that are new to our class that the students are going to be able to make their own materials. If they want to find a gear or a motor or whatever, they can create it in the materials that we're going to have here and in the Fab Lab. Having the tools at our fingertips allows the students to be more creative, to become more innovative. Um, before, if they couldn't find a tool, we would have to order it somewhere or go and find it in a box, etc. Now, we can even introduce other programs like CAD, um, computerized design, and they can design their own part. Um, like the other day, they needed to take a bolt out of here, and we didn't have the right a screwdriver to do it. So they created one in another class. They created a tool that was able to take that nut out of um, the plate. So things like that, that now we have the tools and materials. Um, it's very exciting. You can tell the students are very excited to be able to collaborate. And it just, it's nurturing. I love this space. They're so excited. They think this is a professional lab. They keep looking around, seeing the screen and all the cabinets, the tables that are amazing. Uh, some of the tables, they flip. So you can, if you wanted to have another workstation, you can. And all the materials are under the table. We have more space. They can collaborate a lot better. I put them in partners and they're talking, they're, they're getting excited about collaborating. Uh, that's something that was needed before. They have a bigger space, they have all the, the materials next door at the Fab Lab, and uh, the space is just amazing. The high ceiling, the sound is amazing, the power cords, whenever they need power, they can just pull it down and there it is. It's so modern, it, it's, it's great. I would like to express gratitude. This is such an amazing contribution. I've been here for 29 years now. I started at Bartram and uh, I see the progress of our amazing school. We started doing certain things and um, multimedia, computer apps, uh, video game programming, but now we are doing things that real engineers are doing. Fusion, for example, we have an intro to engineering class, the CAD, the robotics is very robust. 
we have everything we need here to succeed and the kids they have an opportunity to be innovative and that's the main thing we're giving them the opportunity to be creative